I think the gospel of wealth for a new century requires us to move towards more real engagement on issues of structural, systemic barriers. The issue of the day really is inequality. Systems can be education systems or financial systems that reinforce the privilege of some and the disempowerment of others. Those systems have to be addressed in ways in which those of us who are privileged really interrogate our own practices, behaviors that contribute to the kinds of growing inequality that worry us so much. Our ability to dream rests on our capacity to be hopeful. And what I fear is that because of inequality, because of insecurity in the world, that hopelessness will grow. The Ford Foundation, as an 80-year-old philanthropy, has a rich legacy and a heritage I think we're all very proud of. But there are things that we need to do to change. Our work is realized through the leadership of our grantee partners. And so we have to lift up and validate their leadership and give them the resources that they need to do the work they are called to do. But that requires us to be better listeners, to respond with course corrections, and ultimately to trust in the wisdom of people who are closest to the problem. I am a hopeless hopeaholic. I'm hopeful that particularly those of us who are privileged will respond to the cries for justice, that this will mobilize the world's attention and the attention of those of us who are in positions of power and privilege to do something, to respond, to make the world a more just place. It's within our reach. It is achievable.